Hello and welcome to Second Perspective. My name is Nathan Smith. This is Paul Weston. Hi there. And uh, today we're doing a quality control episode on American Sniper. This is uh, Clint Eastwood's new movie. It's uh, just got nominated for a bunch of Oscars, uh -huh. uh, including Best Picture, Best Actor, a few others, I think. Uh, it's making a lot of money, too. Yeah. Um, actually, on IMDb, I just saw a post that said that um, it just passed $200 million. Yeah, so. so, I mean, Clint Eastwood, uh, he's he's made some great movies in the past. I do think he's on a bit of a, a kind of an iffy streak, but um, mm -hmm. let's talk about it. What did you think? Uh, just did you before, recommend it? <laughs> uh, before we go into it, um, this is the non-spoiler. This is basically, you're just going to yes. find out, um, we'll say whether we think you should see it or not. Um, yeah, as Nathan said, it was just, it's about uh, Chris Kyle. Uh, he's a Navy SEAL sniper. Um and he's known to be an American sniper that has, I believe, the most recorded kills. Uh, in U.S. In, military in US, history, yeah. yeah. Um, so, in terms of what did I think about it, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it was just, it was so blah. Uh, like, Chris, or uh, sorry, um, not Chris Gow, uh Bradley Cooper was good in it. Um, I thought he did some really nice... I thought he was great, yeah. Yeah, okay, I should I should rephrase that. Uh, rephrase that. He is very good in it, but it's just, there wasn't a whole lot of material for him to chew on. Um, do I recommend seeing it? No. Uh, I mean, if you really want to see it, sure. Um, but, and I'll go in sort of in, more in the spoiler talk. Um, it's just a, a war movie that doesn't do anything as well as any other uh, war movies, and it doesn't focus on a particular theme or anything like that. And so... Um, Good acting, but everything else is just so blah. Um, you could see any sort of other war movie, and um, you'll probably have a better viewing experience. Uh, what would you give it as a letter grade? <sighs> like a C, C plus, if I'm feeling special. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't really recommend it either. Uh, I, I'll probably give it like a C plus. I think there are some... Some thrilling sequences throughout, um, yes. including, you know, the scene that they show in the very first trailer uh, where he's making a decision whether or not to shoot a child with a mm -hmm. grenade. Scenes like that, I think they capture, uh, you know, the essence, that, that sort of gray moral quandary about war. Like, what, what do we do in these scenarios? Uh, and I quite like that. And there's a few scenarios like that in the movie. But most of it is just kind of ho-hum. It's very, it's a hodgepodge of other movies that we've seen, like The Hurt Locker and Black Hawk Down, just other movies that have already done the things it's trying to do, but they're more focused. They have more of a of an intention. I think a lot of American Sniper just feels very loose, and, you know, it's just one scene after another, and I didn't feel very invested in a lot of the characters. I think Bradley Cooper is excellent. I'm not surprised by the nomination. I don't know if I agree with it, but I can, I'm okay with it. I think he did yeah. a great job. Uh, I do think he was held back a little bit by the script, but overall... A little? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, another thing to note uh, is this is supposed to be a true story, and while I went in knowing absolutely nothing about Chris, the Chris Kyle story, um, it turns out that most of this movie is fiction or completely misrepresented, anything that is real. So if you are going in expecting like a really true story about this guy... Unfortunately, you're not going to get it, even though that's what they're marketing it as. It doesn't really go into my factor of what I score this movie or how I felt about it, but I, I do think it's something to take into consideration if you're going to see it. Yeah, um, other than that, I don't, like, it's, I think it's going to be a really short review. I mean, like, if you, if you are really hoping to go see it, I mean, it's not going to be the worst, like, $12, $13 of your life, but... I mean, yeah, go watch any other war movie. Um, I would wait for it. I mean, like, yeah. I'm a fan of war films. I've watched uh, pretty much most of them that are reputable and out there that are good. Uh, and I just don't think this one really holds up that well. I think mm -hmm. it's it's not really that great. I, I think it, it stereotypes a lot of characters and situations. Uh, it's just kind of an average movie. Yeah. Um, that somehow got a great star and a great director attached mm -hmm. to it. And I expected more from them, unfortunately. Yeah, and I, I think... Uh, at least myself, maybe not Nathan, um, are being a little more harsh with our grades just because it is getting these nominations and like, and the fact that it's like it with this sort of talent you would hope for more. But 
yeah, um, other than that, I gave it a, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'll go with the C+, because I did forget about, because, like, when it, there are a few moments in the movie that are, like, ho wow, holy crap, that's, like, I was truly captivated, but for the most part, it was just sort of very, as Nathan said, ho-hum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's our uh, quick review of it. Uh, if you have already watched the movie or don't care about spoilers, then come check out our spoiler chat. We'll go in-depth about uh, a lot of what we thought, the scenes of the movie, what worked, what didn't. Uh, and join us for that. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.